Rich people in New York are whining about the fact that Zoomers, members of the Gen Z community, are infiltrating and patronizing their fancy bars. The latest example has to do with a bar that was usually frequented by regulars, but now Gen Z just loving how uh, this bar kind of takes them back to a different era in America, um, is now being frequented by young people who want to take pictures and post on Instagram. So the Carlisle Hotel's uh, Bemelman's Bar, an unchanged 1940s era lounge known for its masterpiece martinis, white glove service and wall illustrations by the author of Madeline, uh, Ludwig Bellemans, uh, is the latest victim of cool. Now, Gen Zers with money to burn are overwhelming the formerly buttoned up bar each night. Uh, first off, I, I think they're bearing the lead in this story, which is who are these Gen Zers with money to burn? I'd like to meet them. <laughs> yeah, well, if they live in Manhattan, they're probably right. the sons and daughters of bankers. Now, the sons and daughters of bankers might be enjoying this, but the um, older bankers and wealthy people who uh, typically would patronize this bar are not pleased with it. In fact, I think there are rich men crying. I care. That's it. So I'm gonna give you some comments and quotes from these old timers at this bar in just a moment. But there have been other changes to kind of like accommodate younger patrons and they don't like that either. So most notable is the introduction of a bouncer wearing an earpiece who is every bit as gruff and disinterested as you'd find in a downtown fashion fete. I'm not French, I don't know what that is. Uh, Brioni suits now mix, I don't know what Brioni is either. Brioni suits now mix with designer jeans and Balenciaga sneakers behind a velvet rope. Worse still, reservations have been eliminated in favor of an egalitarian first come first serve policy, which I will confess, I'm not in favor of. I like reservations, I do not like waiting. <laughs> I have to confess, I didn't understand any of the words in, the, in that sentence. <laughs> Like I literally couldn't tell if those are the things that the old people yeah. do or the young people do. Do who? Which one wears the Briani suits? Which one has the Balenciaga sneakers? I, think, I have no idea. I think Brioni suits um, is the symbol of the old timers oh. and the Balenciaga sneakers. Just because young people wear sneakers, right? Old people don't wear sneakers. I, I imagine, yeah, no, the older, yeah. yeah, that's what I would guess. Yeah, right. Uh, so, okay. This is an important issue that has to be sussed out. I mean, we really gotta adjudicate this. Uh, who, who is right here, the older rich people or the younger rich people? Because if it was like, they're actually not worried about the riffraff, right? Because yeah. the riffraff don't have- There is no riffraff. Right. These are all people, these are moneyed individuals. These are people who've got money to burn, right? This is really a generational conflict. Right, it's the old timers who don't like, and they're regulars. Like they're used to going to their cutesy little Carlisle Hotel bar, without having to deal with young people taking up space. Like that's the sense I get that they're irritated with young people taking up space, and they're also irritated with young people taking endless selfies as they're occupying the space that used to be claimed by them. Yes. Now, uh, I have conflicting points to make. Uh, number one, uh, I'm amused by the the name, and I'd never heard of it. Uh, the Bemelman's bar, I do declare. You wanna go to Bemelman's? Bemelman's, mm -hmm. okay? So it, it, it sounds like what it is, a place where old school rich folks go. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, like old school dudes who just wanna hang out in their like man cave in the middle of New York, yeah. though it's not more of a penthouse than a cave, right? Yeah. And drinking old school martinis. Sounds kind of cool. I know. Look, right. I just I, I, I want to be fair, so I hate everyone in this story. Um, <laughs> but with that said, I also understand being a regular at whatever establishment. It's like your favorite place to go, and then all of a sudden, it becomes the hot spot. And then all of a sudden, it's like full. Of, I don't want to go to a bar full of people. I want to go to a bar that's not full of people. I want to like I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
something that they found pleasure in, enjoyment in, is now being taken over by a younger generation. And while I usually am not sympathetic to that, if I put myself in their shoes, I kind of get where they're coming from. That said, things change. Welcome to reality, welcome to life. I do want to read one final graphic on this because this is fascinating. Apparently, this is a bar that was frequented by you know, people in the sex work industry. They oh. would find clients there. Oh, that makes all the sense in the world. Okay, and the minute you said it, I was like, that's true. And now, <laughs> for some reason, since there's a bunch of Zoomers going there, the sex workers aren't showing up anymore. So one old timer patron said, and where are all the hookers? <laughs> <laughs> um, added Hartman's septuagenarian partner, Dennis Romano, referring to the escorts who formally worked the room. The young people are bad for business. <laughs> I, I like that these older folks, though, were like still looking to, you know, get in the game, right? Do you, boo? They, Everyone they, needs some love. Yeah, they need, they, <laughs> they're like, and I like how upfront they are. I mean, we used to come here for the good martinis and the hookers. And now these Gen Z folks are driving both away. This is unacceptable. I guess they're at the point in their life where they're like, I don't give a damn about anything. Oh, there's a reporter? Yeah, I was looking for hookers and I couldn't find it, so I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and you're the only person in America looking for an empty bar. No, I'm not. You guys all know I'm right. Who likes going into a super crowded bar where you're like, you're trying, you've, you've experienced this, right? Where you're like, to the bartender? like. I know, but a lot of people do it. I don't like it either. No, but a lot of I'm people married. do. I, don't I know, but because it's because you're married. If you were single, time, okay? you would want a full bar. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for a drink. <laughs> I want it now. Right, and if you were an older <laughs> rich man in New York, you look for a full bar with hookers. True. Yeah. <laughs> and you have your answer as to why Bevan's doing it because they don't want an empty bar with a bunch of 80 year olds who are dying off. If they got a bunch of younger clients who are willing to pay the same outrageous prices, of course they're going to let him in. Of course. And you have your answer. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.